Hello and welcome back to part 3 of Anno 1404. We left off last time, we just finished the first mission, which was this one. A Declaration of Faith. Show that you're worthy of your fiefdom and support Lord Richard Northburg during his construction of his cathedral. So we kind of did that. Uh, then that little turd who looks like Richard III. <laughs> hey, that rhymes. <laughs> I'm a genius. Where's Eminem when you need him? <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, that little turd turned up and uh, demanded troops um, for something or I can't quite remember. So we're actually at this point here. Expand your settlement and supply the growing Crusader army. I'm actually going to do this on easy because as it's a walkthrough, last time I was just hanging around waiting for stuff to, to get finished. So we'll, we'll carry on with this one. Refund of all construction costs. Not sure what that means, but okay. I'll pause this a little bit uh, until we get to the cutscene. They came from all the corners of the Empire. Knights, mercenaries, recruits. They descended on the surrounding lands like a swarm of locusts. At night, one could look out over a sea of campfires and tents which shone in the moonlight. I think it's on about the French border, isn't it? stretched to the very horizon. Eurotunnel. And enthroned <laughs> in the middle, like a spider in a web, Guy Fawkes who orchestrated preparations for the imminent crusade with an iron hand. I think we're going to have to call Guy Fawkes either Guy Fawkes in this video or we're going to call him Richard III because that's what it looks like. Uh, right then, let's set sail. Watch out for those crates. I was assigned to assemble a crusader army. It is your duty to help me organize supplies. You will receive more detailed orders. Little shit. I don't like him already. A crusade? My cousin, his majesty, never said that he was considering such a thing. But who am I to question our mm. rumors with? Was it him though? Was it Guy Fawkes? Mm -hmm. Chopping block there, nice. Which is Ducking Tower? The Emperor may be ill, but he seems to want to conquer the Orient regardless. We must support Guy Fawkes in his endeavors. This is our feudal duty. Okay, if we have to. He's got a bigger ship than us anyway. I've only got a few peasants, what am I supposed to do? Chapter 2, in the sign of the cross. And so it begins. The orders, mm -hmm. And nobody opposes Cardinal Lucius' orders. You will soon receive your first instructions, so kindly make yourself useful. Do you hear? I hear. And how do you want me to make myself useful? All these knights have sworn an oath to fight for this crusade, okay. and there are more to come. I need provisions to feed and water these brave men. Okay, so you need 15 tons of fish and 3 tons of cider. This will certainly not be the only demand that Guy Fawkes has. No, but it won't be. Asshole. Build a market building, as this will create space for all the new plants. I thought that was the market building. I presume we got to build another one then, have I? Okay, market building. Small market building. Beautiful. Now, is it, does this matter where, where I put this? Is this all my island? Oh, it looks like it is, yeah. What if I put it there? Excellent. You can now build the necessary plants around the new market building. Okay. So. He, w he needs 15 tons of fish, so we could probably put another... Guy Fawkes seems to oh. have scant regard for politeness. Be that as it may, a cider farm should be enough to produce the quantity of cider required. Okay, cider farm. Re orchards require adequate fertility. Produces cider. So this is what I'm not sure about. Does that mean I shouldn't do it in there, or it needs its own little space like that? 
I'm gonna guess and go like that. Let's just check if work in the cider farm is also progressing well. You should also create some orchards so that the cider farmer's wife can finally get to work. There's your cow. She's getting fat. Alright. What's this? Left click to automatically build fields for this building. No, I want to do it myself. I oh, can't I? Use the use the buttons in the building menu to create fields. Okay, I want to do it myself. <laughs> Maybe I can't. <laughs> Bastard. Okay. What's this? Oh no! no. I want to do it. Are piling up in this plant, but there's no road connection. Ah, okay. So now I need to build a road from the orchard to the warehouse. I'm gonna try and make this neat and tidy. Your storage will soon go. be full of lovely cider. It's a shame that Guy Forecast will be the first to taste Get it. Get pissed on it. Yep, you're right there. Shitty little shit. Looks like a sherry man myself. Alright. So that's our orchard now. Uh, with these, creating the cider. And so he needs three tons of cider. So if I look in here. Uh, does that mean I've got four tons already? And I only need three tons. Okay. And 15 tons of fish. And I've got 21 tons. Well, look, I've got enough on that. That's enough. So if I connect this to the main one, will they take it to the main warehouse? That is the question. So. Let's grab that. And let's connect ourselves to the. to there. And that's cost me 90 gold. I'm just wondering now, because um, we've got the supplies in here, does it automatically mean that they're also in this one? For 22.26. Yes, it does. It does, it does, it does. Okay, so doesn't that mean I've already, already got the uh, 15 tons of fish, which I've got, and 4 tons of cider. So that's in it. Bring food and drink for ah, these nights. I've got to bring it there. Or I will allow them to plunder your island. You little bastard! It is a great honor for us both to make all the necessary preparations for this crusade. Our work will substantially influence the outcome of the forthcoming battle. Some citizens have moved into your city. Right, so that's that's the supplies that he needs. So if we move now over to where is it? What do we got? The harbour here. That should have dropped off the goods for that sniveling Fabulous. little shit. Yeah. Peasants are breeding. New buildings are available. Oh, weed. <laughs> Hemp. Uh, clothes for the hemp, what's this? Stone masons, must be built near a stone deposit, one stone quarry can be built. Cobblestone Street, enables you to pick up goods, increases the speed of market carts, medic, carpenter and firefighter. Firefighter? Blimey, I mean look at that, that's quite a lot in here. Okay, so where's our ship? We should be nearly here now. Let's see down on the mini map, it actually looks like there's two of them. Uh, he's just checking me out, is he? Alright. So let's drop our fish and cider off. What about those for refreshments one? for the crusade? I'm here now, motherfucker! You got everything? God. Alright, so click on that. I'm always worried when I do that. Does that mean I've um just thrown Bring them overboard. Food and drink for these nights. Oh god, don't tell me I've thrown them overboard. Them to plunder your island. Right, I need to get this right. There's got to be a certain order to do it in. Right, that, there's me, uh, and that'll be my fish. Right. What so about those refreshments? I mean, yeah. Uh, you there? Do you know Marie D'Artois? 
Married to her. He is the leader of the settlement in the northeast. Yes. Here's an important letter that you must deliver to her immediately. She takes it up the Papua. Yes. It's urgent. Right. So if I do, I I think I just do I do that. Do you know? Double click to send to the camera on an object. Right. Some linen garments for the Crusader Knights won't hurt either. Don't get this. But I don't want to wait forever. I have sent a ship to you. It is yours. But hurry up and deliver those garments. All right. Give me a chance. I'm still trying to work out to fucking get rid of my fish and cider. So I click on my bolt. No, I click on that. All right, don't click on that. Don't forget to hand the letter over to Marie D'Artois personally. Is that not how you do it? How the fuck? Well, have you delivered the I letter? I swear yet? to God, I'm gonna knock your head off in a minute. Don't forget to hand the letter. I won't. Castle. That forecast is a notch. Yeah, there's a mother forecast. a weaver's hut to satisfy his friendly request. Where's the? If you want to produce linen garments, I'm sure it was this building, building here. Plantation. I thought you just literally dragged it like that. I don't know how to give him the fish and uh, I was like, yeah, but don't I? No, I can't work this one out. I don't know whether he's got it or whether he hasn't got it. What are these? Are these ones that I've done. Right. Well. No, I give up. I give up. Can't work that one out. So let me get back to my little island. What's this? I am being far too generous right. in giving you this ship. I know, but this crusade demands sacrifices from us all. Okay. Uh, what have we got down here? Build a hemp plantation with four fields. Let's let's do some drugs. Uh, I'm trying to sort that bloody boat out and do my heading. Um, so if we do it, looks like we're building a lot of construction up here, so we'll do it up here. Okay, build. I know it's rather improper, but... What, to grow drugs? Could you have a look at this letter? I'm intrigued as to what Guy Forkas has to discuss with Madame D'Artois. Okay, there's our fields, and then we'll have to build a... path... Fabulous. That's now okay. provided the raw material for the linen garments. Okay. Sweet. So my city's coming on quite nicely. And so build a weaver's hut. So that'll be for the hemp after we can see it's going there. So now we need a weaver's hut. Is that in here? Requires hemp. Okay. Whoa, that's what that's big. Now can I put that can I put that there? Just come and see me any time if you need some tools. What are we doing on tools? We've got seven ton of tools. Is this open now? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Let's have a look. Yep, it's working. Okay. So we've got the hemp. Ah, oh, oh, it. And they're putting it in there. Weavers are now moving into your new factory. Yep. Pot smokers everywhere. <laughs> okay, so that's that done. Deliver the following to Guy Fawkes. Five linen garments. The weaver says that he could produce many more linen garments if he had a sufficient quantity of hemp. Now we know what to do about that, don't we? Yes. Build another. Uh, that's all, all forest, though. So maybe we can use that for wood later on. Uh, because we're running... We're not doing too bad. Let's build that one there, then. Build a second one. Uh, there we're getting the hang of it now. Fantastic. Oh, another you path. Soon have produced there we all go. the linen garments for Guy Forecast. Yeah. 
Guy, motherfucker, motherfucker, what's got into you? So we've got, um, so he's producing one. I don't know if we need to build another one. Um, uh, we'll probably squeeze one in here. Yeah, this is, how much does it cost to build another one? It costs 400 gold. We've got plenty of money. Five wood and three tools. Hmm, we've only got five tools, so well, we could do, I suppose. I'll get it done quicker, won't it? And we'll build that there. I don't think that one needs connecting, does it? Shouldn't do. No smoke coming out of it yet. Uh, right, okay. All right, next one. Deliver the following. Well, have you delivered the letter yet? No, I don't know where to pick it up from. Is it on the ship? No, is it on that ship? Oh, there we go. And I've got to deliver it where was it? Was it? Uh. Don't forget to hand the letter over to Marie D'Artois oh, personally. There. Marie D'Artois, no. Takes us up the foie gras. Yeah, right, so she's got to go there. He's got to go over here. The port. Somebody can explain to me this how you transfer stuff. I'm getting a little bit confused with that on you know how to get stuff in here and out of here. I thought you just literally clicked and dragged, but I seem to be doing something I don't know, it just doesn't seem to be working quite right. So there's our ship down there heading over here to drop the letters off, and in the meantime. Game save. Thank you. What's this? Oh, we can remove these. Yeah, okay. Um, they're living the letters, and you need five garments. So, how much have we got in the warehouse at the minute? Mm -hmm. No garments. No garments. What are you guys doing here? I saw you built one, though. Oh, not five. There we go. One garment. It said one there. So, why. Why is it not in the warehouse? Interesting. What's this? So you've built none. Where's my other weaver's hut there? And you've built none. You have. It popped up, didn't it? Did it not? Interesting. Oh, it needs five of these to create one. That must be it. Hmm. Right, I'll have to come back to that. I'm not sure about that one. Uh, right, okay. So, do we not just go like that and... You see, I'm getting confused. I don't know how you do it. Uh... Oh, that's the garments one. Well, where do I drop the... Well, oh, it's up there! The letter yet? You mofo. Wait a minute, wait Don't a minute. Don't forget to hand the letter over to Marie D'Artois personally. To Marie D'Artois, the following is a decree in the name of our Emperor and Cardinal Lucius. A crusade against the Orient appears to be unavoidable to defend the Empire. The order is therefore issued to all vassals to perform their feudal duty. You are hereby awarded the singular honour of leading the Crusade army into battle. I expect you and your bravest knights to come here to Tuckingham as a matter of extreme urgency. Signed, motherfucker. So, that's the letter in the northeast. So it's going to be up there then. Right, so he's going that way and deliver five garments. So this is our second ship here. So, have we got any garments in here? We haven't got any garments. Why is that? There they are. Right. So, if I select that. Ah, now I get it. I get that. 
I don't get it the other way. And you need these dropping off to... Well, have you delivered the letter yet? To there. Okay. So you go there. You come into the harbour. Here. And you drop off the linen. It was just linen, wasn't it? Yeah, five tons of linen. What is our other ship doing up here? See, the game's starting to open up a little bit now. Starting to get a little bit of multitasking, and this is we're still on the tutorial. I mean, the game gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Player. Yeah, Mary de Atoin. Oof, Let baby. Me see it. You can have a look at the letter as well. There you go. From Guy Fawkes. Yeah. In the name of the Emperor and Cardinal Lucius. Don't trust him. A crusade against the Orient. To defend the Empire. Mm -hmm. Almighty God! Just as my vision proclaimed, I shall gladly join in the Holy War. Oh, don't get Your that. Your arrival is a sign. Yeah, to ditch the little snivelling shit and get on board with me. Come on, baby. Move the goods you wish to sell. No, I don't want to sell anything. No. Stop it. She's excited. Following a vision, I had new weapons produced for my knights. Lord Northborough's best armourer made them. Please be so good as to pick them up from him. Uh, from Lord in Stone Quarry. Have you finally managed to produce some linen garments? At last. However, I am not at all sure whether we will actually need this many oh, garments you in the south. Fucker. I need ropes. I have ships and war machines. To tight around your bloody neck. To it. What are you waiting for? Right. Carry out. I can only advise you to build a rope yard to supply ropes to forecast as quickly as possible. No, I'm going to take my time. A little shit can wait. Too busy with this piece of punani here. Collect the following from Lord. As an quarry. imperial vassal, it is your duty to assemble some knights for this crusade. I have seen your future in a vision. Carry out the fun. Collect the following from Lord One Weapons Crate. In Stone Quarry. As an imperial vassal, it is your duty to assemble some knights for this crusade. Uh, shut up. Last night. An angel appeared to me in a dream with a cross in one hand and our Emperor's banner in the other. My visions never deceive me. This crusade is the will of God. Okay, so yours that one that errand is down there for her. And in the meantime, recruit ten knights for the crusade. Don't think we're ready for that yet, are we? Build a rope yard. What's this one? Yeah, okay. Right, I think I'll have to build a rope yard at this point. Um, so, we'll probably build it up near the orchards, I think. Oh, this is our little industrial area. So, a rope yard. Where do I find that? Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure how, how do I build a rope yard then. That forecast is unreasonable. I know, but we must comply with his demands. See, this is where the game gets really confusing. You want to build a rope yard? How? Remember the ropes, hear me? Yes. Maybe it's something to do with down ah, here. Marie has sent you. So I can have these weapons loaded on board your ship. Yep. Feel free to come and have a look around. Oh my god. Marie Don't has understand this so at all. Have these weapons loaded on board your ship. Take good care of that crate. No, I've got it. Some real masterpieces of the Smith's craft. 
Even if I do despise the use of force of arms. Okay. So I've got those. Deliver the following to Marie. The angels have proclaimed it. The right. new weapons will make my knights invincible. Ah, they won't. Don't trust that Lord Nabunga, whatever he's called. Richard III. Some sly about him. Yeah, I am confused about this. I need somebody to explain this to me a little bit more. Don't understand that bit at all. So we're dropping those off now. You want us to recruit ten knights. Not sure how to do that just yet. Build a rope yard. That forecast is unreasonable. I know. But we must comply with his demands. I presume that means we need to buy uh, some tools. I think that's what he's trying to tell us. I think so. Um, is there anything remember over the here? Ropes, hear me? Yeah. I do remember. Um... So it's down at the blue one. That forecast is unreasonable. So I know. I'm gonna send that down. We must to comply with his demands. Send that down to here and see if we can get some supplies from this one. But it's confusing, isn't it? Building's alright, it's just this ship thing I don't understand with it. It's a clicking thing. Confusing city. Anyway, this video's running on a little bit longer. As I said uh, previously, I'm gonna keep all these um Have you brought the weapons crates? Give them to me. Oh god, is he going to get his head chopped off? Or are they going to hang him? Mm, missed it. Missed the execution. Uh, right, where's our ships? God bless you. Ah, I will soon travel to it. Guy Forcus with my knights for the ceremonial blessing of the weapons. Sorry, love, I've dropped them there. Oh dear. Let's get out of here before she notices. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Right, what do you want now? You want ten knights and you want me to build a rope yard and deliver three tons of ropes. So we still need to... God oh. in heaven, no! We were on our way to the weapon blessing and ran aground on the reef. Have pity on us and help us! Okay, what do you need me to do? Ten tons of wood. Come on, let's help this bird out quick. One of your plants has stopped producing goods. How much wood have we got? We've got shitloads. Shitloads, come on, let's help this broad. Come on, where's my ship? It's nearly here. Come on. Come on, come here. Come on, we've got a damsel in distress. There's no time to be crashing on the shore. Come on. Right. Ten tons of wood we need. And it's just gone down. Oh, that's, oh, oh, that's what's on my boat. Left kick to trade goods from the Santa Maria. No, I want to do it the other way. Goods from the from Falconstone. Yeah, that's right. And we want to transfer wood. That'll do. Right. So where was she? She's there. So we you need to get your ass over there. And we still need to work out how to build this um, rope thing. Rope yard. Oh, it needs 240 citizens. At the minute. Thank God, you have come to help us out of our tricky situation. Oh, hang on. It requires 240 citizens. And yet I've got 242. Hmm. Uh. Fuck! 
fucking hell, it's just doing my head in. Ow! <sighs> Don't want to throw it overboard. No. Thank God! You have come to help us out of our tricky situation. Yep. God bless you. You're Thanks welcome. to you, we Get will still off. arrive at the weapon blessing in time. Right, I'm just going to bring my ship back. Right, we're going to end that there, I think, at the um, end of part three. I'm trying to keep these quite short. I'm going to have to work out how to do this rope thing. Um, build a rope yard. It's confusing me. Oh, maybe that's why. We may have worked it out. You need 240 citizens. Peasants. Ah, so we just need another 30 citizens. See, it does all make sense. You've just kind of like got to work it out a little bit yourself. So if I build some more peasant houses, um, let's get some down here. Get them on the side of the road. Uh, can we get another one in there? Yeah, another one in there. Another one in there. A few lumberjacks could replenish your dwindling supply of wood. Okay, I've not got many tools either. And wood. Um, okay, so I guess... Are there peasants? How do you get peasants to be uh, citizens? Is that going up? Is that going up? What's the difference between a citizen and a peasant? Game save. Citizens, peasants. Well, it is going up. So it looks like we're going to do it in the end. I'm not actually sure what the difference between a peasant and a citizen is uh, in the game and how it's we create them. I see these houses have got... Oh, what's this? Very well satisfied. You always know exactly what we want. Do I? Oh, they all seem pretty happy. Interesting. Um, right, guys, so uh, I'm going to leave it there. As we get to 240, we'll, we'll then come back in part 4. Or part 3. Is that part 3 or part 4? Uh, we part 4 when we come back. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Any questions you've got? Anything you want me to learn or you want to do or you can advise me and help me out a little bit on the... Especially the trading stuff would be a very much appreciated. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. This has been part 3 of Anno 1440. See you soon. Subscribe for more. Bye-bye. Your building opportunities have been expanded. And that'll be the rope yard.